I love the combination of fish wrapped in Parma ham. And for this recipe, I'm gonna show you this beautiful wild Atlantic cod loins. So they're from Q Hands, they're part of the Simply Better collection. We're gonna wrap them in prosciutto the Parma ham, which I'm gonna show you now in a moment. And we're gonna serve them with a pea puree. So pea puree is very, very simple. We're going to use some cream. I'm using some double cream. You can use some whipping cream. Okay, so roughly about a quarter of a pint goes in here. Some frozen peas. Uh, before I put the frozen peas in, you can use fresh mint, but what I started doing at home is using some um, of this pesto. And this is the fresh basil pesto that I'm using here. You've seen me using that lots, even with mayonnaise. It's a fantastic product. So you'll pick this up in your local Dunn's and it's in the chilled compartment. It has to be kept in the fridge because it's fresh, but it's super. So I'm gonna put in about three spoonfuls of that. Always remember to light the gas. <laughs> so three uh, spoonfuls of that. And then we just literally mix this through and add in the peas. And that's it. We're gonna blend it then. I'll put a little bit of salt into it because remember the pesto, it's nice and uh, seasoned anyway, so it is. So you just bring this to the boil and then we're gonna add in the peas. Peas are frozen. You can use fresh peas. We usually use frozen peas. So that goes in there. I'm gonna cook this for a couple of minutes and then when it comes back to the boil, I'll just let it simmer. So fresh mint will work really well, but the pesto that I've started using this at home. So I'm gonna turn on this pan because we're going to do our lovely uh, parma wrapped uh, cod. So this is the prosciutto of the parma. So I'm just going to open this. So it is matured for 24 uh, months. So it is really lovely product. I even love this just at room temperature, just serve with a little bit of sourdough bread, a little bit of uh, pesto. It's, it's just gorgeous, so it is. Now, let's just open this here, and then we're going to get our fish ready, so we are. So I'll just get the prosciutto of the parma ham out, and it's a little bit fiddly, so I'm gonna do a couple of slices of this. So just if we just literally do one layer, just onto the board, and then the same for this. So the key into this recipe is trying to get the parma ham nice and crispy. That is the secret into this recipe. Don't worry if it breaks up a little bit, it's absolutely fine. It's a little bit tricky, I think that should be enough. We'll come back to that in a moment. And I'll just do one of the portions of cod. So we're just going to uh, cook it with the skin on. There's no bones in this, and we're gonna literally wrap this. Now you could do a couple of things, strips of um, asparagus, maybe some leeks, some vegetables, but I'm just gonna keep it very simple. So I'm gonna literally roll it roll it roll it like that so what i want to do is to get the presentation side so this is this side here nice and um, uh, crispy golden brown and it's going to cook very very fast so nice hot pan i'm going to put a little drizzle of oil and then what we're going to do is literally put this so remember the skin is on it prosciutto the parma ham you can have these wrapped uh, kept on a plate in the fridge and we just wanna make sure that it begins to start cooking straight away. So I'll move this out of the way, wash your hands. We'll come back and we'll have a look at the pea puree. And then I'm gonna get the parma ham nice and crispy. And also what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put a little bit of butter. If you want to, you can put butter into the pan, if you want to, uh, to give a nice little bit of flavor and color. Okay, so let's have a look at our at our pea puree, that's just coming to the boil there. So we'll have a little look at that. And then a little bit of butter, <laughs> a little bit, don't worry. We are gonna put a small little piece of butter in here, a couple of cubes, just either side. So what butter does, guys, it gives the most beautiful flavor uh, coming through actually for the fish, and it's gonna get it really nice and crispy, so it is. So just use my fish slice, keep the pan nice and high now, that's really important. You wanna get this lovely and golden brown. I think that's the key into this. So with the pea puree, taste it. Make sure that you're happy with the seasoning. Mm, good. Doesn't need any more salt. And you just literally, I'm gonna bring it over to a higher ring here. Just turn this up. And we're just gonna let this just cook out. So the beautiful thing about fish is that it cooks very, very fast. It's super healthy for you. You can literally pan fry the fish. You can leave out the parma ham. I think it works really well and serve with the mushy peas or even some buttered peas. So it's really, really simple. Sometimes when I make this at home, I uh, use the hand blender. I'm gonna use this little mini chopper. 
you may have seen me using this for some of my recipes so it's a great little piece it just chops it it just blends it should I say but before I blend it I just want to just check on our fish so if we come in nice and close and you can see it's going to get a nice little bit of color see the way the color is changing there so if we just get the pair of tongs and we flip it over gorgeous now that's what I want that lovely beautiful golden brown crispy piece of fish so I've turned down the heat I don't want it to overcook and I don't want it to burn that's really important so I'm going to move it now to a smaller ring and I just want to show you another tip when you're doing this if you baste so if you just watch me here you're spooning on these lovely butter and oil so you kind of tip the pan over a little bit and spoon that over there it's gorgeous just let that cook away we get that nice and crispy and again I say it doesn't take long so I have that on nice and low okay so for our pea puree so cream frozen peas and a little bit of pesto and I say you can use some mint if you want to probably won't blend half of this <laughs> I'm using the small little kind of mini chopper for this and I'm just going to literally spoon this in here now I uh, sometimes use a stick blender or if you have a new triple it at home for making smoothies and that this will work perfect so just get some of that nice cream now I'm gonna blend this it's gonna be a little bit noisy I'll just move that out of the way even like that the peas are really really nice so just flip over if we look again it's nice and golden brown okay and that's gonna be just when it's a little bit kind of firm to the touch so I'm just gonna literally pop it on its side if you watched what I'm doing there so it's still gonna cook and it's gonna be nice and crisp and uh, golden brown all over okay so let's pop this on it's gonna be a wee bit noisy so excuse me the long the longer you blend it the smoother it's gonna get so let's have a look not bad I don't mind a wee bit of texture normally when we do this in the restaurant because we do make this puree with mint we serve it with lamb and it works really well and I should have said that I know I'm serving it with a nice piece of cod here and I'm just keeping it very very simple you know just I'm not going to do any other kind of a uh, garnish or anything like that I just want to show you how to make a very simple puree and then wrap in the lovely fish yeah so I'll just get you to come in here Mella and I'll show you a little bit of texture there okay just lift this out be careful it is hot and then slide that and I'll just get a spoon and show it to you so there's a little bit of texture so in the restaurant what we do is we blend it and then we pass it through a sieve whereas I'm gonna serve it as it is with a nice uh, couple of spoonfuls of that so let's have a little look at the cod is it cooked how do you know when the cod is cooked so that's kind of feels nice and firm to the touch and that really depends on the thickness of the cod to be honest with you so remember what I did oil and butter uh, you can finish it with a little bit of lemon juice if you want to I have lemon there if you want to but I think there's enough flavor in this without doing that a uh, little bit of oil and butter and keep turning it over and remember bring the fish to room temperature so in other words if you have it wrapped and in the fridge take it out let it come to room temperature for about 15 20 minutes and then literally pan fry it as I did or you can grill it so just for the pea puree I love the vibrancy of this color frozen peas for me work the best the pesto in it is delicious and I often do this with some lovely uh, fish uh, goujons some lovely cod goujons so what I do is get that cod cut it into nice little strips and flour egg and bread crumb it and either shallow fry it or deep fry the actual cod works really really well so I'm going to serve this up now just move it around get it nice and moist and then just lift it up and there we go very very simple I think a uh, really nice uh, flavor a little drizzle of some rapeseed oil over the top and there you have your Parma <laughs> Parma ham wrapped uh, cod and that's that beautiful Simply Better cod and that lovely kind of pesto uh, pea puree I think that is delicious little baby potatoes with that something you need something even a bit of rice rice would be gorgeous with that so enjoy this very simple and delicious recipe and the key is that really nice wild Atlantic 
cod loin there. So there's no bones in that. Remember that the skin was on it, holds it together, and that lovely prosciutto at the bar of my hand. So enjoy this, and thank you so much.